In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add a success message when your user submits a form successfully. So in this example, uh, users can select uh, rental cars and update their mileage um, here. Then when they submit the form, it automatically updates the mileage on the table and in their uh, database. Now, ideally, we want to show a success message when that happens. So in order to do that, uh, we're going to go ahead on this uh, button here. And what we'll do is we'll just add a little text element uh, below. So we'll go ahead and add, drag and drop this here. Uh, maybe add some margin. And actually, let me just add it top. And here we go. We will say um, your form was, oh no, uh, we received your update. Not a great message. You can you can be more creative than me. Um, in any case, we don't want to. You know, we only want to display this after uh, the um, after the, the the form is submitted. So what we want to what we'll do in this case is we'll create a variable called um, mileage updated, and it will be a boolean. So a yes, no, and by default, it will be false. So we'll say that it's false. And what we'll do is we'll go back to our, um, the workflow that is on our form container. So remember for workflows to work, you, and they need to be on the form container, not on the button, uh, because you wanna, set, you wanna pass through all the information, uh, so all the fields from the form. So we'll go back to the workflow and we'll add an action so on submit, at the moment, it updates our record in Airtable. What we want to do is we also want it to uh, change a variable value. And so we want to change, um, in this case, we want to make sure that the mileage updated is now true. And what we'll do is once we've done that, we can go ahead here on the text, we'll go ahead and uh, change the display based on our new variable. So we created a variable, which you can find here in variables from the website because we created that variable. It's not a variable that's attached to your Auth0 plugin or to a component. And it's this uh, mileage updated um, variable. So now you see it's false because by default it was false. So this, the message you see here, uh, the text doesn't display anymore. But let's see if we go back to preview mode and we select the Tesla and we say, actually, you know what? It's only 46 miles, we submit. And now again, it updates the data here. It updates the data in Airtable and it displays our, um, our success message. So that's how uh, you use conditional display to uh, display a success message when your form is submitted.